Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my video. My name is Leonie Huizer, and today I would like to tell you about part of my PhD research on social behavior in Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins. Before I start, I would like to thank my co-authors, Barry, Beck and Mike, and acknowledge the Kwanamuka people as the traditional owners of Moreton Bay in Eastern Australia, where my research was conducted. Animal societies often display fish infusion dynamics to reduce the effects of competition. This means that they temporarily form groups when it's beneficial to do so and split up again when the costs of being grouped outweigh the benefits. To maximize benefits when being grouped, individuals may associate with specific others depending on behavior. For instance, animals may prefer different associates when foraging than when socializing. Bottlenose dolphins, for instance, apply many different foraging strategies, so it would make sense for them to preferentially associate with individuals that apply the same strategies to maximize their foraging success. An example of a dolphin foraging strategy is trawler foraging. In several places around the world, bottlenose dolphins sometimes interact with trawling vessels and follow them around to forage or bycatch. In the late 90s, such trawler foraging also occurred in Moreton Bay, or Kwanamuka, However, instead of having different preferred associates when foraging and when not foraging, the dolphins here were split into two social communities based on this foraging mode, which never interacted regardless of behavioral states. Ten years later, when intensive trawling in the bay stopped, and with it the trawler foraging by the dolphins, this community division disappeared and all dolphins freely associated. Now it is 10 years later again, and we first wanted to investigate whether the dolphins here associate non-randomly, and if so, whether they have preferred associates depending on behavioral states. To answer these questions, we conducted boat-based surveys in Moreton Bay, during which we first tried to photograph the dorsal fins of any encountered dolphins in order to photo-identify individuals and see who hangs out with who. After photo-identification, we would observe and record behavior within one minute every three minutes for the remainder of the encounter, usually about half an hour. Based on certain behavioral events, each one minute time bin, we assigned the dolphin's behavior to one of five mutually exclusive activity states, namely foraging, resting, socializing, traveling and milling. In brief, when foraging, dolphins were observed chasing prey or deep diving. When resting, dolphins were swimming tightly grouped and very slowly. When socializing, a lot of body contact and interaction was observed. When traveling, dolphins were moving steadily in a constant direction. And when milling, dolphins were roughly staying in the same area with individuals surfacing irregularly and facing different directions. Basically, milling was the behavioral state assigned when dolphins were not clearly doing any of the behaviors defining the other four behavioral states. When behavior could not be observed due to the dolphins being underwater for the entire sampling minute, their behavioral state was recorded as submerged. An overall behavioral state was assigned to the encounter based on which state was assigned to the majority of time bins. For each pair of photo-identified dolphins, we calculated the health-weight association index, which is an estimate of the proportion of time that individuals spend together. And this resulted in a matrix of association indices, which was permuted or randomized 20,000 times to test the null hypothesis that all individuals associate with all others with the same probability. This was done for the entire data set, so all dolphin encounters combined, as well as for subsets of encounters based on their assigned overall behavioral state. All analyses were conducted in the SOCROC software package. I am now going to show you some preliminary results. Here you see an overview of the behavioral budget of all encounters combined, so based on counting all the separate one minute time bins. As you can see, traveling was the most common activity of encountered dolphins, which corresponds to findings of many other behavioral studies on wild dolphins. And traveling was followed by milling, socializing and foraging. Resting was only observed a couple of times during our encounters. And these are the results of the permutation tests. Uh, listed here are the observed mean association indices, the mean indices resulting from the permutations, and the coefficient of variation for the real and permuted data. The coefficient of variation, or CV, is the ratio of the standard deviation to the mean, 
which is a measure of dispersion of the probability distribution of, in this case, association indices. Whereas the mean values of the health weight index can be the same for both the real and random data, if the real CV is significantly higher than the random CV, there are preferred associations. Looking at the mean values for the health weight index, you can see that they are considerably higher for resting and socializing than for the other behavioral states. Basically, you could say that resting and socializing occurs among friends rather than acquaintances. Applying a significance level of 0.05, preferred associations occur not only in the overall data set, but also for the behavioral states of resting, socializing and traveling. Preferred associations did not seem to occur for foraging and milling. And in the case of milling, this was not very surprising, as milling was not a very well-defined behavioral state. As I mentioned earlier, it was basically an assigned state when it was unclear from behavioral events what the dolphins were actually doing. In the case of foraging, we had expected to find preferred associations as dolphins may have specialized foraging strategies. However, our sample size for this behavioral state was considerably lower than for the other behavioral states, so our finding may be an artifact of that. So, in conclusion, yes, the bottlenose dolphins in Morton Bay seem to have preferred associations in different behavioral states. And as a next step, I'm going to look at the actual values for the association index per pair of dolphins and plot them as in this example from the 2005 paper by Shingiro and colleagues. So, I'll plot the health weight index for each pair of dolphins against itself to evaluate strength and patterns of association between individual dolphins across their different behavioral states. Finally, I would like to thank the following people and organizations for making this research possible. And I would like to thank all of you for your attention. Please email me if you have any questions and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.